Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I was able to afford this car over here, this car over here, and many more after that. So basically, in March 2020 during COVID, I decided to buy my first car. You know, I needed a car. I was in college. I think that was my sophomore year and my junior year in college. Decided to buy my first car, very excited, and I realized I did not have enough money. So instead of going to the dealership and getting uh, a car note, I decided to go buy a car off an offer up. So I went, I met this lady, we talked about the car, I liked the car, I was love at first sight because, I mean, that was my first car, I wasn't expecting to buy a Bugatti or anything like that. So I got a, a Honda Accord LX, very exciting, it lasted me for a year, and after that I was like, huh, I want something a little bit more exciting, I need a better car, so that's when I decided to go on Facebook Market. On Facebook market, that's where I really realized how to work the system, right? Because if I do have a car note, it's gonna cost me so much money down the line. So I don't go to dealership, I don't pay, I don't pay any down payment, I buy my car cash. You know, like for example, this Mustang right here, this yellow Mustang that I bought back in 2021, one of the best car I ever had, I regret selling it. This is a 2004 Ford Mustang that I bought, right? On Facebook market. This car, I bought it for $4,500. I know, that is crazy. I never thought I would be able to afford a car like that for $4,500. The thing about that is the mileage was a little high, which is a big problem for a lot of people. But let me tell you this, the mileage matters if you won't take care of the car, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Like, of course, people will tell you whatever they wanna tell you, but I bought many cars on Facebook market that had higher mileage they still drive perfectly and I never really, I never had any, I would say mechanical issue with all the cars that I ever bought. You know what I mean? Like any car that I bought off Facebook market worked perfectly. There is ways to buy those cars. And this one is another Mustang that I bought recently. This is a manual because I wanted to drive manual. I bought a manual, manual car off Facebook market. I bought it for $4,000. So basically this yellow Mustang, I bought it for $4,500 and sold it for $4,000. Of course, I had lost $500 here, but I was able to afford this one for $4,000. So you see what happened, right? I kind of transitioned from 4,500 to 4,000 and I swapped cars and I got a car that I wanted because I wanted to drive a manual. So basically I am choosing whatever I want without spending extra money on my cars, right? And if I have to pay extra $500, up to $1,000 to get another car that I really want with a better feature, it's up to me. You know, I'm not tied to anybody. I don't have to wait till my car note is paid off. I don't have to pay any interest to anybody to be able to drive whatever I want. And I can swap my cars at any point, right? So here's the tip on how you can afford, you can buy a car on Facebook market without getting scammed or buying a very bad car. It's not guaranteed you will get the perfect car on Facebook market. You got you gotta do more, a lot of research. You gotta ask the right question to the seller to make sure that the car is not gonna you know mess you up. So the first question I always ask the sellers is the car inspected. You know, like here in Maryland, the inspection is very, very difficult to pass because they have a lot of rules and regulations. Personally, I always ask the seller, hey, is the car inspected? If they tell me no, that's it. You know, I'm not moving forward with that seller because I know that car, when I buy it, I'm gonna have a lot to fix with that car. So if the seller say, yes, the car is inspected, that's already a green, green flag for me to look into. I'm very excited now because, hey, it's been inspected, so I don't have to do a lot to bring it back to uh, the point where it's accepted in the state of Maryland. So after the inspection, you know, like after asking about the inspection, I'm gonna drive, meet the seller, I always, 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 always try to meet the seller at the public place, marketplace, uh, in the lab, plaza areas. You can meet them in, you know, church parking lot. You know, like many places where it's open, they feel safe. You feel safe. Everybody is safe. You want to make give them the vibe that you want to take care of them. They're gonna get what they want out of this because it's a negotiation. You want a car and they want the money. So you want to make sure that they feel like you're going to take care of the need as they will take care of your need. It's up to you at the end of the day. If you have any question, please, I beg you, leave it down below in the comment section. If you have any suggestion for me, please let me know. You know, tell me, is it my lighting that's not good enough? Is my, the, the sound, the quality of the audio is not good enough? Is the video good enough? You know what I mean? Like, tell me what I need to improve. I'm open to suggestion. I'm open to your, crit, your critics. Critics, critics. 
I'm open to your suggestion. I'm open to your critics. I will go ahead and try to make sure that this YouTube channel become one of the best on YouTube. So I appreciate you for taking your time watching this video. As always, I'll catch you next time.